Hello Upladder experts, welcome to part 24 of our e-commerce admin application development series and today's session we will be focusing on empowering our admin users by enabling them to head products effortlessly. So yeah, let's dive into the implementation but first as our admin panel evolves it becomes essential to provide a seamless experience for adding new products to our e-commerce platform. The Headed or Upload product screen in our admin application is designed to handle both product editing and uploading. So yeah, let's explore the key features and enhancements. So first we have just here on our admin application. So now we just need to um, add a product when user or admin clicked on click on this upload product button. So it will just should be stored in our firebase so first thing first as you know that these things are similar to what we have done in our registration page so we will not just explain or not just write the code here again but we will just copy our user application registration code and we will just paste it here and we will just manage the code and provide the specific details from there so i'll be just moving to my this user application and and the registration thing basically uh, the registration to that page we will be just copying all the registration function here and we will just bring the changes according to our that upload product so i'll just copy this from here basically Control S and I'll just copy this and I'll just move to my this page again um, basically this and I'll just uh, Comment this thing first. We will be just tackling that also, but first we will be just doing this Great, we are just done by copying this thing uh, the Registration function into our this admin upload function and the next thing we will be just managing and covering all of the things so yeah we will be just importing all the parts here also but first thing first we will be just managing the things here as we know what we are just doing so we will be just checking if the picked image is equal to null so we will be just showing that uh, dialogue basically that make sure to pick an image after that we will be just checking on how this category have it is also null we will be just showing that also where i have just uh, uh, commented this i'll just uncomment this i'll cut it from here and the next thing i'll just paste it under this so great we are done when this is not selected we will just show an error dialog if this is not selected we will just show an error dialog Great. Uh, so the next thing we will just import uh, what this Firebase file stored. As we you know that we have already installed all of these packages from there. And the next thing we will be just managing the things also. So here we will be just naming the image to be saved on our file storage. We will be just taking the title, whatever title user will provide. We will just save that on that title. Um, uh, great uh, I'll just go to the top and see what we are just getting this is the title controller I'll just set this copy this and I'll just paste this here. so great now what we just need to do it will be the user image URL I'll just change it to the product image URL I'll just copy this so I'll just move on the top as we have just created this you just need to create this uh, thing and you just need to add this loading to the polls and the main thing you just need to um, wrap your application the basically the gesture detector with the loading manager to just uh, add that loading thing in our application as we have just added in uh, into our that user application so we just need to copy that uh, loading manager uh, file to dot dot file uh, in our this admin panel and then we are just done you just need to copy from the user application and paste it into your admin application and come into this edit or upload product 
uh, thing and just wrap your application the gesture detector with the loading manager and make the loading to this and that's it you are just done and the next thing we will be just now managing all of the things basically so here on the admin thing we just don't need to uh, basically sign in for this so we just remove this and the main thing we will be just getting the product id from our that uh, application or the package we have just installed which was uh, uh, we uh, UUID I guess so I'll just move here and you will just get it I'll just show you what we have just done so here for the unique ID we you just installed this and now we will be just creating and generating that uh, product ID basically so we will be just using the application which is UUID and we will be just using the version 4 for us uh, and that's it now I'll just copy this user id i'll just paste it here i'll just paste it here and i'll just use the cost now we just need to make the collection and the name of product so i'll just change the user with the products and i'll just import this file store package here and that's it we are just done uh, then i'll just quickly provide all of the things here basically so i'll just do that um, so basically I'll just manage and store the key and their specific values so I'll just do that and I'll just come back later okay I have added all of the products necessary elements to be just added on our firebase by store as you know that we have already created the model uh for our product model so here we are just adding all of these into the firebase so i've just added this thing basically the time stamp here to be just uh, know the time which time we have just added a new product on our date basically uh firebase by store and you just need to add that also great after that we are just done and we just need to install this flutter toast package so we will be just importing this we have already added it if you have not done uh, this thing yet you just need to add this basically so now we will be just changing this mess message the product uh, had it successfully and great uh, i'll just uh, basically refresh this and import this and we'll just manage the name we'll get this if error occurs and this if error occurs this thing basically so we are good so far and i'll just copy this um, from here and the next we will be just getting that and we just need to when our product is added we will be just uh, giving the user to clear the form basically so yeah we will be just doing that also basically after the product added successfully so we will be just showing that message to the user so we are just done and now i'll just make it sure that use clear form i'll just ask the user and now we will be just doing that one thing we will just call our clear form function we have just created at the top and now it is not an error basically the has error we will just make it into false f a l s e and that's it we are just done so now the main thing we are just uh, uh, on the main we just need to add all of these and initialize our firebase and we just need to integrate our firebase into our this application as we just done and to our that basically head main or uh, user application the process is the same just do that and you will be just good to go and now the main thing i'll already start my application from here and now we will be just checking um our application when we just upload an image basically so i'll just click on the add image i'll just pick an image from the camera because i do not have any image in our this emulator so i'll just click it from there so that's it we just 
selected an image now we just need to select this thing the category i'll just name it below dev clothes uh after that we just need to give it a price i'll just give it something like this i'll just give it this and here the product description great and the next thing i'll just click on this upload thing and we will be just getting some kind of loading and after that we will be just uploading this image the product edit successfully and just want to clear the form if i click on this okay our form is just uh cleared and here on this file storage storage um we have just got the folder which was product images basically yeah this thing so we are just done by uh, uploading the image the balloons close the balloons close so great now we will be just uploading this image and now we are just getting another folder into our this firebase file store and the collection we just need the products and this products and here you go we have just got whatever we just added there and with the addition of this feature our admin panel becomes more robust and user friendly admins can effortlessly manage and expand the product cat catalog in our next session we will fetch the uploaded products from the firebase and display it into users screen and we will enhance the admin experience with more features and improvements and until then stay fit stay happy and as usual happy fluttering